So, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about the difficult and dominant client. And I see that Thomas just changed chair, so I imagine that I'm gonna play a difficult and dominant client. We'll see what happens. All the hairdressers in the world and the skin therapists and everybody have some sort of clients that drain your energy and that really, really make it impossible for you to be the best uh, that you can by coming to the salon and say that I'm. Um, First of all, I never ever, uh, I never found my hairdresser because I'm never happy with my hair. Mm. Already there, a hairdresser goes like, yeah. I'm not going to cut too much today. Eh? So yeah. you get scared and, and it drains your energy. And they say that, um, I, I, I really, really don't like my hair right now. It's too long, but I don't want it too short. And I, I booked time for, for a little touch up of the color. I want it blonder, not yellow. Not yellow. I want it um, a little bit blonder, but I don't want any regrowth. And the fringe isn't working, but I don't want it short. You know, the drainer. They, they take your energy. And I lose a lot of techniques uh, with these clients. First of all, open questions. And they tell all of this to me. And the body language is always like this, wrapped up with the head on his knees. And the, yeah, you know, you know the type of person, yeah. every hairdresser have one uh, so while a, a client like that. So I let them talk a little bit first. I use my 15 minutes that, that I have. I use almost only open questions because if I, I, if I tell them something in the beginning, they will come back to me and say no, or we will have problems. So I use these open questions to let them talk a little bit. And then I get this information that I want. And then there's, there's, I use something that they said about it. And you know that when you look in, in, with your clients, it's approximately two and a half meters through the mirror to your clients. It's two and a half meters. I sit 40 centimeters from John now, but through the mirror, it's two and a half meters. And it's very convenient for a client to sit like this and be maybe all, also rude or whatever, and, and can s say a lot of negative things. Then I choose one thing from the open questions that she said that I heard that she wants. And then I turn around and I say, is it really so that you want the length here? And when I come into this distance, something happens because I'm inside her comfort zone. She has to say yes or no. N not so much talking. I is it really important to have the length here? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, feel, you feel it's it's not comfortable, yeah? No, absolutely. I'm on, I'm on the spot. Yeah, and, it, and yeah. then I go back again and we talk a little bit of the solution. And I mm. said, maybe I have bad experience before. We start with what you said. And next time I will have a plan for you to make a change. Not today. I want you to tell me uh, how you, if you liked it or not. I want you to talk to me about the color that I made if it's good or if it's not. I can change it for you, but we can't make a change for you that you're happy with if you're never happy. Mm. So it's very important. Or what do you say? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you start looking all over the place. Because <laughs> yeah. as soon as you come into the comfort zone, to use this technique a little bit, but only when it's necessary. And you need to know that it's a yes or no question that they're going to ask in because you're actually coming inside their comfort zone. And it's very it's very psychology um, free. And, and we always do the consultation without the cape on because then you can see all the body language and if they look at the time or if they look, are nervous or if they whatever information I can get. So the cape is only on when we decided what to do. The consultation is always that we talk about, OK, I see you have brilliant shoes. You take care of those. I mean, whatever it is we can talk about. Mm. Um, and, and to use the distance, because the comfort distance for two and a half meters and 40 centimeters is very, very, very different. So use some questions that you know that you will get a yes and no answer, and you will start coming to a solution. Because many times with this problem is that the hairdressers uh, end up in a situation where the client has put them because they want all this change, but they don't want to do it. They said, I want it blonde, but not too blonde. I want it lighter, but not yellow. I want it long, uh, shorter, but not, don't cut too much. And that's the problem. So you have to choose one thing and to have a yes or no question and you will come to a solution. And to switch those clients from being trouble to be happy 
is the most efficient clients that you have. It will take two haircuts and one color and so on. With the right techniques, they will talk about you as the, as dominant as they are here, as dominant as they with, with their friends. So they will bring in 20 new clients yeah. of you if you succeed. That can be the best client, the one that you hate from the beginning. And I promise you to use the different techniques is going to work that we work with here and to listen. Wow. Yeah. No, that, that's, that's a lot of great information in there. So I think that's a great point, the last one. I'm just trying to summarize a bit so I'm getting it all right. But, you know, the mind, you know, the fact that this client is being difficult here and you're able to turn them. Maybe you're one of the few who have been able to do that, right? Yeah. Makes her a big advocate and one that will talk a lot about you also outside the salon. Yeah. Um, the other point I was just getting also uh, in there is because typically they would come in and they they talk about what they don't want, right? So that's yeah, yeah. where it starts yeah. is to s try to understand and get them to what do they actually want mm -hmm. and like finding that out, yeah. right? And then using the technique you're using to kind of like push them, right? So that mm -hmm. you kind of align and you agree on like what you're going to do using this, this technique. And that's kind of how you're managing those challenging clients, which can be challenging, but also the best clients of you you're able to to do this right yeah it's a little bit like a small child that screams and you need to snap them out of the situation so they oh <laughs> and they get happy again yeah i use the same technique here i go i go from here and then i go over and say is there something that you're longing for with your hair yeah and suddenly they start thinking in a positive way of their hair because they are so focused on the negative ways yeah so it you need to snap them out be because and one question that's good is what do you like about your hair yeah and maybe you get some information of that and you start there and then you go, let's start with what you like. Mm. And we start with that. Now I know what you don't like. Yeah. You don't need to tell me more. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to start what you like. Yeah. Because then they relax and the arms comes down and, and they start. And after sec next session and so on, it will be your absolutely best ambassador. And this is also about a client that calls in and say, I'm not happy. Yeah. If a client calls in and said, I'm not satisfied, it's too blonde or too, the first thing we do is just bring them in. Mm. Bring them in and make them happy. Never fight with the client. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to darken it down? We do whatever it takes. That will also be your best ambassador. Mm. Because a client that wasn't so happy and comes in and you fix it, mm. and you gave them a couple of products and you say, oh, take care, I'm very sorry, I misunderstood the information. I thought that you wanted to be that blonde. Now you're not. Are you happy now? Yes. Okay, I want you to come in in six weeks and I do the blending on you uh, mm. again and for free, no problem. I would really, for us, it's very important that you're happy and you're, you're you know, she's going to talk about you forever. But if you say, no, you said to me that I, we agreed on and start fighting with them, you're going to lose. Yeah. You're always going to lose. It's a lose lose situation. Yeah. So use the techniques to make them happy. Great. So great value there. Uh, you know, we're talking about the salon environment a lot with a mirror here. Naturally, you would need to think if you run a different type of business where you have a different physical setup, right? Uh, the same principles kind of applies, obviously, that Thomas is talking about, but like you just need to think about how that applies in that environment where, where you are. Yeah. Good. Thanks a lot for that. And we'll see you inside of the next lesson.